Excellent. That's now showing us live on Facebook. So I'll just give that a few moments for notifications to get out to people. And hello to people who are finding this afterwards, um, who are finding the Facebook live stream afterwards. And hello to people seeing as I'm now popping these onto YouTube. So if you're finding this video on YouTube, uh, hello to you there as well. And welcome to everyone who's just arriving now on, to, on Zoom. Excellent. Just give it a couple of minutes for people to arrive. If you're, ah, there we go. I can see people just starting to uh, to click on, on the Facebook Live. I can see a row of faces along the top there. Hello, everybody. Do um, say hello with sending one of the bubbles up or popping something in the chat. And then I'll just make sure I can see the chat while we're going on. And I can see faces of everybody on the Zoom. Hello. Good to see you. Um, do join in on the chat as well and do, uh, if you're first time along on here, do let us know where you're joining in from and say hello to everybody. And uh, yeah, we've got very much kind of the core group that has grown with this over over the, more than a year now. As a, ah, excellent, I can see all the comments from Facebook. Hello everybody who's just arriving there. Um, yeah, I've, I've backed up all of these or put these all on from the last year onto... Um, onto YouTube as well. So it was uh, uh, kind of a long old job to, to do to, to get them from here and put them across. But it um, was nice to kind of look back over the last year of them and uh, all of the drum circles that we've had and more recently with the journeying circles earlier in the month and the ones at the end of the month. Um, and thanks everybody for your kind wishes uh, earlier on in the month. Um, for the, when the journeying circle which didn't take place uh, but good to be back here with everybody tonight and as Phoebe says yes yeah, celebrating Beltane together this is wonderful welcome those who are just connecting on the zoom um, we just give it a couple of minutes for uh, for people to arrive it takes a little while for the Facebook um, notifications to get out there to people so uh, people can join hello those who are just connected on there and um, yeah, I, this has been shared around a number of groups on Facebook as well. Um, so if you found it in a group or if you found out about this from a group, do please uh, share the link. Uh, I think on the video in the bottom uh, right hand corner, there might be a button or something saying share. And if you're able to share this out a little bit, it will help those people who uh, haven't been able to find it to the page, find where they can get the and join in with the live stream tonight. So tonight we're connecting again with the rhythm of the drum, but particularly here we are at the end of April, and it's time now that we can connect in together with the spirit of the season, with the coming of summer, and have our Beltane circle, Beltane drumming circle spreading far and wide. So wonderful. Thanks those on Zoom who've already started saying hello and saying where you're joining in from. Um, I can see a number of uh, familiar names on the Facebook Live as well, but do let us know where you're joining in from. Um, I know already we've got a number of people joining in from the UK and uh, our regular friends from San Francisco. Um, but let us know as well where you're joining in from and we can get a feel together of how wide this circle is. Yeah, thanks to those who are sharing the video as well, because that also helps people find it. Um, a lot of people click on the event. I think there's something like 600 people who are following the event, but it uh, just helps to get the uh, to 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 share it, to then get it kind of out to a few more people um, who haven't found their way to the page. So welcome those who are joining in from Aberdeenshire, from Warwickshire, from sunny London, from Gisborough. More from uh, the US, from Tennessee, fantastic. Others joining in from Gloucester, or Gloucestershire, that might be there. In Somerset, in Cornwall, more from Aberdeenshire. Really good to see you, those from Thailand. I've been to Thailand a few times now. I've, uh, we're doing workshops in the area in Aberdeenshire in the past. Um, so do know Thailand reasonably well. And the local stone circles to there as well. Great to see everybody. More friends from Cornwall. Excellent. There's a, 
Already a message of hello to Heidi. What's she doing at the moment? She's quiet at the top of the stairs. If people aren't, uh, uh, people are new to the circle, Heidi is my dog. She joins in the background, sometimes joins in with the singing. Most of the time is uh, responding to things she might hear out on the road that are exciting to her. So uh, she, you, you may hear her, hear her at different points. We're not doing a journey this evening, so it's not quite so uh, much of a worry that she'll sing along at an opportune moment. To uh, some people who were on the drawing circle in the autumn might remember I had all of the uh, the autumn grotto leaves up and around. I found some green leaves and these are these are pink flowers so they're not white flowers but it was as close as what I could find around among decorations to get it a bit Beltane. The kind of the return of the green man the green leaves. Oh return of the green man. There's the green man t-shirt. This uh, getting into the getting in the mood of it um, but yeah to symbolize the may blossom which uh, on walks out and around here we can start to see uh, coming into coming into blossom on the trees and has been for for a few days now I guess the warm weather's maybe hurried things along a little bit but fantastic we've got a, a good group joined on Facebook now welcome everyone and on zoom and uh, let's let's get ready to start. So we'll start the evening just with a uh, a grounding and centering. We uh, will have come from busy days or from days doing things here, there, and everywhere. And uh, now we're coming into this space. We've maybe just switched from one room to another. We might have been in the same room and just turned off one computer or one program we were watching or whatever so let's uh, just take a moment to really ground and center and just acknowledge the shift of the shift of well it's not a shift of space that we've got this time it's a shift of energy that we are going to be uh, yeah just settling into if you do use smudge herbs um, do grab those because it might be really useful just to use that to ground and centre yourself at the start. But for all of you, I just invite you to, yeah, just check your position in your seat, just really make sure that you're sat comfortably as we start here. And very simply, just take a moment just to bring your attention to your breath. And not particularly doing anything fancy with it, not changing it or affecting it in any way, just, just feeling that breath. Feeling it as it comes in and out. And notice those spaces in between the inhale and the exhale once you've breathed in a little moment as you hold the breath before you exhale and once you've exhaled that little moment of stillness before the next breath in and just letting the sensations of your breath just bring your Bring yourself into a bit more of a mindfulness, a bit more of a presence, a bit more into the moment. Really feeling yourself in your body. And extending beyond your body, just imagining as that tree body self, that tree root, those tree roots that we have going down from our feet, going down into the earth. Feeling those pushing down through the soil and the stone, the clay, the sand, whatever the earth is beneath you. Feeling those roots pushing deep, deep into the earth and grounding you. Yeah, and as you breathe in, Breathe in that energy from the earth. Breathe in that grounding, holding, healing energy from that earth beneath you, that warming earth. Drawing that grounding energy up through you, 
up through your center, the trunk of your tree body, and breathing out then upwards, out through your branches, out through those uh, leaves that are just starting to unfurl. And as you exhale, that just being caught by those gentle breezes and winds as you exhale. Breathing that grounding earth energy up from your roots, up through you, and exhaling to the sky. And then alternating with your next breath, breathing in from the sky above, from the sun, from the, the moon, the moon in her fullness at the moment, to the star nations, and drawing that light energy down through you. Bringing that down through your branches, down through that centre, through that trunk, through your core, and breathing out through your roots. Alternating then, breathing in that earth energy from the roots, and breathing that out to the sky, and breathing in then from the sky, and out through the roots. That alternating breath. Grounded to the earth below, below, connected to the heavens above, and centred in this space. And if you have smudge herbs, if you haven't started already, I invite you to join in as we welcome the plant spirits, as we call on those plant spirits. We honour them and thank them for their blessings of healing and cleansing. As the smoke washes around our body, we honour it and thank it. As it carries away the stresses from the day, all those heavy weights on our shoulders, those butterflies in our stomach, all those things that we don't need to hold on to and carry on to. We thank the plant spirits and ask them to carry that up and away with the beautiful fragrant smoke. And for everybody in the circle who are joining in now and after, I'll continue to leave this just smouldering and continuing to send that prayer up to hold this space with that uh, focused and healing and cleansing and protection. And with all of that, as we just drop that bit now from our head down into our heart. Yeah. Let's just send that call out from our heart, all of us, to the earth below us, to the earth that holds us and heals us and guides us on our journey through life. Warming now as we move into the time of summer, as we honour the coming summer, let us honour and thank the earth beneath us. To the element of air, to that breath that we breathe, to those gentle breezes and the wild winds of change, that cleansing wind for its inspiration, for its song and story, and for all the new beginnings that it carries. Let's honour and welcome the element of air. To the waters of the sacred springs, of the rivers and streams, of the mighty ocean, all that water that flows through our body, and to that element of flow, to that essence of flow, to that energy of flow, and to the depths, to our depths, we honour and welcome the element of water, and to the fire to the fires of the candles that glow behind me, to 
the fire of the sun that are just starting to set. So that fire deep within the earth's core, that melted iron core. And all of those fires within us, those fires of passion, of creativity, of excitement, of illumination, of inspiration. To all of the fires of the Beltane fire ceremony. All of the fires that will be lit in the coming days. All of the fires that have been lit year after year going back to the time of our distant ancestors. Right back to those first fires. We honour and welcome the element of fire. And in this circle that is called close to us, all of those guides, healers, teachers and inspirers that work with us and work through us, that is called to our ancestors of our own bloodline, those shining ones, that come with that love and strength for us. We honour you this evening. We honour and acknowledge you this evening. To all of those ancestors of this land on which we gather. Those ancestors of the first peoples of the land on which we gather. For all of your wisdom. For all of your strength. We honour you and acknowledge you. And to all of those ancient seers and healers and keepers of the sacred craft that have passed on and preserved all those ways in such a way that we can continue now to connect with the sacred. Let's honour and thank you all. And so this circle tonight in honour of Beltane, in honour of the coming of summer, the return of the green man. We call to all of the spirits of the north and the east and the south and the west and we ask the circle to be blessed and to the earth below and sky above fill the circle with purest love. Blessed be. And blessed be our ho, our men, uh, whatever is the right way for you for ending prayers, sending a heart up. Thank you. Um, welcome and uh, really great to be back in this space with you all again here at the end of April and uh, coming back together after a, a good few weeks where uh, since the end of last month since the last time that we've been together let's take a moment to invite the drums the drums that we may have in our hands or those who are just joining without drums, let's join with that drum that's in our chest there. And each round of drumming we, each round of drumming I consider a prayer. And this opening round, I call it the unity round, and it's a continuation of this calling in, of, of really calling close all of those unseen that we've called to in the opening there. But in this wide circle, we're not gathered together in a... Uh, in a, a local hall or around the sacred fire as we might be on other years and uh, so this wide circle that spreads right out across the world it's a, it's a, a round of drumming of unity to connect us here oh welcome to those who are just joining on to zoom just just letting you in there Just give it a moment, just there. Uh, I might need to check that everybody's mic's off on the Zoom. Otherwise, we get some crazy noises. Just a couple of people, just their sound still connecting. But yeah, for this circle, for all of us that are joining on the Facebook Live, all of us who are here in the Zoom room at the moment, and for everybody that joins in with this afterwards, we're honouring that connection between us all. Okay. So for unity.
feeling that warmth rising, this fire ceremony of Beltane, feeling those drum rhythms soak into you and spread out from you, out and around the circle. <sighs> Just letting your breath bring you back into your body, into your fingertips and your toes, and back into the space here. That's it, welcome back everybody on Zoom who I can see returning there and to all the people who've been joining in on Facebook do let us know that you're back, send a, send a bubble up or pop a, a thumb or something in the, uh, in the comment section Welcome those who have joined during that, that round, welcome to you and uh, yeah, do, do let us know how you're feeling from that hey, good to see you, those waves on the, the zoom screen um, let us know how you're feeling from that round there Oh, we've got some teary faces on the screen as well. The drums either doing its healing work of, of starting things moving or uh, somebody's looking to play with the algorithms and uh, see what reaction happens when you put other kind of emojis on the, uh, the reaction thing to it. I've always wondered with that on the live ones, if you start putting angry faces, does it start kind of like hiding the video? Does it think it's some sort of controversial? Uh, oh, somebody's testing that out with the angry faces. Thank you for that. <laughs> hmm. All right, welcome everyone. Just arrive in there. How was that round of drumming for you? So, those who are just saying first time along, welcome. Really great to have you along. Others. Feeling a lot of warmth from that and the healing. I mean, we are now in warmer times. We might need to think about having windows open and things like that. Drumming does get you hot. It does warm you up. It's not just the physical exertion of it. You know, it's it does start awakening and moving and shifting. And that does often, often lead us to feeling warm. Others feeling relaxed. Others feeling like really quite lovely. Excellent. Excellent. Super. So tonight, as I said, I've uh, tried to get something up around the altar behind me to represent the uh, the May Blossom. That is that is very much the symbol of Beltane. Some say that Beltane is the first of May. Sometimes others would say that it's more. It's the night leading into it. Um, others would say it's when the Hawthorn does start to come into blossom. And uh, so whatever signs of it there are for you, whether it's already already started for you or whether you're looking forward to it in the coming days, this evening's drumming is to honour that celebration and honour that season. And so we will have our next round of drumming where we'll focus in, all of, focus in on all of those uh, associations that we have with the celebration. And we've got... For those who do love to join in with the song at the end, uh, we've got a fire song to sing this evening and uh, we will have our healing round again tonight. Um, speaking of fire, there is no fire, don't worry. It is just all of the smudge has uh, gone in one go. So if you're seeing my camera being a bit foggy, that's all that one is. I'm just uh, just about seeing the screens through it all. But uh, don't panic. It's uh, It normally subdues Heidi as well, so that might do the trick. Doubly out there. Wonderful, wonderful. So celebration of May. Let us know in the comments. What do you? Well, celebration of Beltane and the kind of and May Day. Pop us. Pop in the comments what things you associate with it, and let's gather this uh, all up together, all of our associations and connections with this season with this celebration, with this festival, as we kind of uh, build the energy for this next round of drumming. What do you associate with Beltane? And so some people have already started about the May Blossom. I'm here wearing the t-shirt for the Green Man and earlier was burning just to set the space, the Green Man incense, because you know, this 
the season is also to do with those leaves coming back on the trees and so the return of the green man uh, i'm in uh, canterbury kent and down in hastings so not incredibly far away they have the jack in the green festival most years down there but as others pop there uh, you know we may be familiar with in our local areas lots of places where they have the maypole dances and the traditional maypole dances and yet with the hawthorn blossom the hawthorn being symbolic the maypole dance and the celebration being related to the lovers the divine marriage between the masculine and feminine and the interweaving of that in the in the, in the dance this celebration is very much a fertility celebration garden shows and fairies bluebells yet yeah, bluebells are already out and about uh, nearby here growth and abundance and love others it's their birthday fantastic so happy birthday for uh, what is it, the day after may day happy birthday for then yet yeah, the maypole dancing running into the sea at dawn brave 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 although you're writing from obviously from san francisco so i don't know what the sea's like there how uh, warm or cool it is how fresh it is um ah excellent so some people who know the hastings jack and the green starting to see the insects coming back and hearing all of the buzzing of them all love and the green man uh, the mother candles flower maypole others saying it's their favorite month with all of the vibrant greens as the leaves start to unfurl the bluebells the sunset walks in the evenings as you know the evenings dragging out and we can get out kind of into the evenings more to enjoy the the setting sun the lavender just starting to bloom wow the cannabis giant there's no may day celebration this year but yeah, the cannabis cannabis is still there and yet maypole dancing people remembering doing it in the village new beginnings creativity growth and growth and abundance others talking about the apple blossom and the plum blossom celebration uh, fires outside fertility rejoicing beginning of spring the beltane fires energy and growth bluebells bird song and lighter evenings uh people lamenting the uh the kind of the normal may celebrations that we might be involved in not happening this year and you know seeing the morris dancers dancing in the summer and welcoming in the summer as well with the the, the beltane sunrise I uh, yeah, a number of times have been up to the Edinburgh fire ceremony up there on Carlton Hill and uh, there was one year a number of years ago where a number of heron drums drums were were used there uh, were, were part of it were part of a particular section of uh, the story that it tells of Beltane and uh, you know good testament to kind of shamanic drums a lot of people will say that you know they can't play in the cold they do react to the cold but if they can be playing on uh, kind of a cold Beltane night on the hilltop in Edinburgh that's, that's doing pretty well but that was a, always a fantastic celebration I think they're moving it online this this year um, so there are some things still carrying on even though we can't kind of uh, have maybe the usual gatherings and the usual ways that we would celebrate we can still enjoy all of these changes in the land that people are talking about the fruit trees in blossom yeah, blossoms like confetti out on the road, uh, out, out and about, and celebration of the rebirth of life. Apple and cherry blossom, fantastic. And yeah, you know, the maypole and that, the, the, the dance of the maypole and the red and the white, uh, the, the crown on the, the maypole, all of that symbolism of the masculine and feminine intertwine, intertwining, and that, that dance of creation, that dance of life. So let's have our next round of drumming in honour of all of that, that's so much that we've just brought our prayers in and around, but just to honour the season and honour this celebration. Let's have our next round of drumming, grab your drums, and in honour of Beltane. Can I just have a quick thumbs up on the zoom screen, was the sound okay on the last round of drumming? Was it alright? I can see thumbs, thumbs excellent. Obviously, it's been a month since I've done this, uh, so I've kind of uh, was wondering whether I got the settings right. But we're all right. Excellent. 
in honour of Beltane, this round of drumming.
of all of the energy of the dancing flames of the Beltane fires. It's, uh, all those rhythms they sing out across the land in honour of the coming of summer, the awakening of the May Blossom. As I say, it's already started down here, but for as it's starting to blossom up and further up the country. Yeah. Welcome, spirit of Beltane, the energy of Beltane. And the coming summer. That felt very energetic. That, that, that rhythm, that, dr that drum beat that was uh, playing then. <sighs> keep that energy, keep that fire, but do breathe yourself back to your body. <sighs> right back to your fingers and your toes. <sighs> right back to the here and now. Yeah, give your shoulders a move, give your back a move, give your feet and your legs a move, just look around, really help bring yourself back. And yeah, thanks for those who already started. Started with the comments there, energizing, definitely very energetic. Let us know that you're back, send a bubble up on that side of the screen or a comment over on that side of the screen. Those who are on Zoom, I can see most of you are back. Give us a wave, give us jazz hands. <laughs> Excellent. No, you're properly back then. Fantastic. Fantastic. Good to see everybody. Lovely, uplifting, heartwarming. Fantastic. An interesting one, you know, the first round of drumming wasn't wasn't as energetic as that, but got really, really warm during it. That one there, far more energetic. But uh not not overheating from it and it kind of goes to show in that kind of that that moment of the opening round as that energy starts to rise that's where you can start feeling that warming up and as we kind of you know as we're in it in the middle um we can have or we kind of you know, have uh, rounds of drumming a lot more energetic and uh and not feeling quite quite as warm from them we're really drawing in that energy of the dancing flames excellent others as well saying uplifting let us know in the comments how you're feeling from that round of drumming how that was that round of drumming was for you and uh yeah okay thanks those who are starting with the comments some people feeling that really quite an emotional release an emotional shift Others have felt a cool breeze coming from nowhere. Others feeling really quite peaceful from it. Others feel like a flower that's just bloomed. Perfect for this time of the year. Leaves unfurling, twisting, twisting out into their fullness. All those natural forms of nature in those spirals. Others feeling the high vibrations, joyful uplifting and yeah bringing back memories and we're here kind of reminiscing on uh, on Beltane's past it's uh, lovely to have those memories to remember back to whether they be back to childhood of the uh, the the country dancing and the maypole whether they be of gatherings like Jack in the Green or Beltane Fire, Fire Society or other gatherings are celebrating Beltane excellent energized and joyful Fire blowing out all the stagnant energy, feeling so much better. Yeah, there's healing, cleansing, transforming fires. I'm giving hints for the song we're going to be doing at the end. <laughs> I can see those from the Ashford group smiling in recognition. They, they know exactly what one it's going to be. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Um. With regard to the Ashford group, a couple of people have messaged me and asked, and other people have been asking me more generally to do with um, workshops and things now that everything's opening back up throughout the year. Um, I'm not uh, fit enough to at the moment is the answer. So it's, it'll be a little while before we have the Ashford group um, going again. 
and with the drum making workshops what I'm settling on at the moment now just it kind of it makes it uh, it takes the pressure off it and saves the kind of the difficulty of organizing bits is I don't think I'll be holding a drum making workshop this year um, just so it gives me time to get back up to strength for being out and about we're sort of uh, when was that? I think I went for a walk a bit more than two weeks ago and I'm still recovering from it so it's uh, taking it slowly on coming back to doing a lot of the outdoor bits and pieces but do look forward to being out and around the fire there in Ashford and uh, somehow I still don't know entirely how but bringing the online drumming circle um, there as well as it having its seat in the circle around the fire so that uh, you can join us on those um, but that won't be just yet wait until I kind of uh, I'll, I'll kind of give it a little while before I organize those um, and yeah a bit, bit further on as well before um, we'll be having any of the uh, the drum making workshops at the moment but we I have been continuing doing bits online uh, there's a number of people on the oh thanks everybody and thanks everybody who sent messages earlier on in the month as well really really much appreciate all of the the good wishes there we I have still as people some people know been continuing on we've had the uh, the online spiritual rewilding course that uh, finished a few weeks ago um, that was an eight-week course that we were running earlier on in the year um, and it will be happening again later on in the year I'll pop a, a post up when that's happening again um, just at the moment still gathering a bit of the feedback from the people on the who have just done the course and uh, gives me some time to work with it and develop it for for later on in the year as well there is the the next one that is um, is happening is starting on the 12th of May um, which is the spirit of the drum course uh, uh, kind of a, a, a spread over a number of weeks a shamanic drumming course just to give not only give people a bit more confidence in different ways of working with the drums but also about developing that relationship with the drum with the spirit of the drum and kind of embedding that into a bit more of a regular practice for yourself um, again looking at different ways of working with it that uh, course is starting on the 12th of May um, so do uh, have a look at the details for that one I think if you're on Facebook there's a blurb at the top of the video and all of those links are at the top there um, but yeah do let us know as well do say if you're interested in more, more information about the um, Spirit of the Drum course um, and I can send you more of the details for that. I think we've still got, will it be a couple of weeks? Yeah, I guess it will be a couple of weeks before that one starts. Um, I think that's really it, it at the moment. There may be some more exciting news to come in the next couple of months. Um, I will uh, drop a little teaser hint there, um, but I'll uh, hopefully have kind of a, an interesting some interesting announcements to come in the um, uh, in the next couple of months to do with what Heron Drums is doing and what's happening with Heron Drums um, but for the meantime um, yeah do do have a look at those links if you're able to help by sharing any of those links that'd be absolutely great um, and what I always uh, forget or kind of don't mention but if uh, if you are able to leave a, a kind of a, a donation or a contribution for these evenings there's no kind of you know no uh, obligation to it's not uh, expected but you know very very welcomely received if anyone's able to give any contributions to the PayPal link that's paypal.me forward slash heron drums and just helps in this period of time where we're not doing the workshops and the drumming circles out and about um, while we're holding these spaces, if we're just if there's any kind of support for those there, um, but fantastic! I can th thanks those who are popping in the comments and letting me know that you want some of the details to do with the course. Um, I will uh, kind of be able to send you the details for that so that you can join in, or so you can find out more about that and and join in if you can make it over those weeks. It will be an online course where we'll be. Uh, having live evening sessions but they'll be recorded as well with practices that you will be working on during the week between the sessions and it all helps you one of the things we find with the online courses or you know those who've been on the spiritual rewilding one it was very much the same 
it gives you a chance between each of the sessions just to embed um, a bit of kind of regular practice with these into your everyday life. You know, we can go along on a, a weekend course um, somewhere and really, really enjoy it and then never kind of uh, put it into practice. But because of these being an online course and there's homework in between, it does mean that you need to put it into practice. And so it's a, a fantastic one just to get used to um, more regularly connecting with and working with your drum in different ways. So particularly for those people that I get regular messages from of I've had a drum for a long while and I rarely pick it up or I only pick it up when we, I'm along at a festival or a gathering or a drumming circle. This course will be particularly for you because it will be about how to regularly um, bring your drum into kind of a more regular practice and anybody who's looking to deepen their connection with their drum um, and reconnect with their drum if you've if you've not been drumming for for a long while with it. So I will uh, for the spirit of the drum do I will pop that those details in there in the comment section for you all uh, when we finish this evening here. I think that's all of the the announcements there. Um, anything else I'll pop into the links afterwards. You'll be able to, into the comment section afterwards, and you'll be able to find kind of uh, find out more with it then. I. Where are we now? We're at eight o'clock. So let's go for our next round of drumming. And our next round of drumming, uh, as I said before, let's have a healing round. Let's have a healing circle here where this circle that spreads from the many of us in the UK right over to the US. And there may be others further and wider. Uh, we're a wide circle where we can hold in our prayers and love and strength for those who are needing it at the moment. And uh, what I invite of everybody, um, if there's anybody that you're wanting to send some love and strength to at the moment, um, if you pop their initials in the chat or their first name in the chat or in the comment section, whichever one you're on, in the same way as you might do in a group with a, uh, um, a healing book or something like that, just because if it's on Facebook, it's public, so it's kind of uh, preferred to kind of keep it anonymized. So if it's initials or um, or first names, and we'll gather those people in the circle here for sending some love and some strength to. For anybody and everybody that we feel could do with some love and strength, just to carry them through at the moment whether that be for challenges that they're going through physically or emotionally, whatever struggles that they may need a lift from at the moment. And just we can drum that love and that strength to them. And in the circle there, if there's anybody who's joining us in this evening who, uh, who really and truly could do with some healing for themselves, do pop yourself in the circle and and you know that's that's a conscious thing of being open to receive so i'm popping myself in the circle here for this this evening but yeah being being particularly open to receive as well as drumming for the all the others that are being named in the circle and we say we send love and strength to them rather than healing we're not particularly kind of you know wanting to direct that it is up to them um, where they take this energy where they take this strength but it's just to give them a lift to carry them forward and whatever is the right way for them at the moment and whatever is needed for them and so I'll just give it a, a little moment more as as more of you just pop <coughs> names in the chat oh Heidi's piping up She's got a couple of names that she's wanting to add there. You think she might be adding me? <laughs> we joke that she's very much got the personality of a cat. <laughs> well, she probably couldn't care less as long as she's uh, getting her grub at the right times. Oh, she knows we're talking about her. Who said that they wanted to see Heidi earlier? Do you want to do a cameo again? Yeah. Come on, camera's up here, Heads. Up you jump. Up you jump. There you are. Oh, she doesn't stay for long, does she? Come on. 
Let's try again. Happy jump. Happy jump. There you are. It's better. <laughs> there you are. You're gonna lay down, Hans. It's good to go. She's not a lap dog. She's not a lap dog. <laughs> Bless her. Okay. So for all those names people have popped into the into the circle there. Let's just have our healing round. For all the names that we've popped into the circle and for all those others that come into our hearts and into our minds during this, let's drum this love and strength for all of them.
and those drum rhythms ripple out and just carrying those prayers of love and strength out to wherever they need to go. Carrying all those wishes for healing, for love and strength to everybody that we've named and everybody that we've been holding in our minds and heart and in this circle throughout that round of drumming. And just taking a few extra deep breaths just to breathe yourself all the way back to yourself. Being centered and grounded. A big part of the skill in, in this practice and in these practices is uh, not just about how deep you can dive into the the spirit worlds but how uh, much you can bring yourself back or kind of the ease at which you can bring yourself back being able to walk between the worlds and be in control of that walking between the worlds and that moving in and out of them so yeah just that deepening of your breath maybe moving of your shoulders and looking around finding something in the room to look at moving your fingertips and your toes feeling your feet on the ground and yeah in reconnecting as a circle whether that's sending a bubble up popping a comment in or something in the chat just letting us know that you're back and 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 a, a word of how you're feeling one word of how you're feeling The little delay that there is on the, uh, the the Facebook bit responding or messages getting to me. I'm just starting to see the bubbles going up now. Super. Super. There's a comment here on Zoom. So glad that Zoom drumming works. You know, it was such a surprise last year. It was, a, let's give it a go. Let's do an online drumming circle. And, uh, you know, so used to being in a room full of people and hearing all of the drums going. Um, it's really incredible to feel that energy despite being, you know, just one drum in a room. And being so spread out far and wide between, uh, well, uh, in the circle as a whole. They're still feeling that energy of the circle. <laughs> Heidi joining in with the energy of the dogs on the street. Somebody's barked down the road, she's had to join in. It's a challenge of having a German Shepherd. I think they've got the largest, the, the largest, the loudest bark of all dogs, and don't I know it. You can hear a small one down the road, kind of just having a just a faint, faint distant bark, but she'll have heard it, and she'll have something to say about it. Excellent. Thanks everyone for letting us know that you're back and uh, for popping your comments in there, sharing how you're feeling and how you're feeling from that round of drumming. So for the last round this evening, connecting them with the fires of Beltane and that element of fire. And I was just remembering um, one of the other places I've been to a couple of times for uh, Beltane is over in Ireland at the Hill of Ishna. And I don't know what they're doing this year, but they would often have a um, a large fire ceremony there. And the old story of it is, you know, that Ishna is a hill at the um, sort of the geographical centre of Ireland, the navel of Ireland. And when the fire is lit there, then people on the hilltops around um, would see that and light their fires. And then people on the next hilltops would see that and light their fires. And you'd, you know, if you were to see it from space as it were you'd see this ripple of fire spreading out from the center going across and just yeah the magic of that just is really really quite incredible and uh, they uh, reignited the ceremony um a number of years ago now it was obviously about 1500 years where there hadn't been 
the uh, the large Beltane festivals and fires on the hilltop there. But they restarted that a few years back, and I'm sure uh, a small private group would be kind of making sure the fires are still lit there again to keep that celebration going. And for the fires that awaken in this season as we move into summer, let's uh, honour those fires that awaken in us. And uh, we'll sing a song for the fire for the end of the evening. So the song we're going to sing is Fire Transform Me, Lead Me to My Passion. Fire Transform Me, Lead Me to My Passion. I choose life. I choose courage. I choose life. I choose courage to dance within the flames, to dance within the flames. So I will start us off with that, probably sing it through once and then join in with the drums. Um, there is a bit that people often do, especially when we're drumming in groups of that, is when you say, I choose life, there is a big cheer of yes as well. So, I choose life, yes, I choose courage. I choose life, yes, I choose courage. I don't know if my breath will keep me going for that much. But uh, do, do cheer yes at home when you get to that line. Um, but yes, we'll join in with the drums, join in with your voices, and we'll honour those fires of Beltane. All those fires being lit in the coming week with the Beltane celebrations and in memory of all those that have been lit in the past. Fire transform me, lead me to my passion. Fire transform me, lead me to my passion. I choose life, I choose courage. I choose life, I choose courage to dance within the flames, to dance within the flames. Fire transform me, lead me to my passion. Fire transform me, lead me to my passion. I choose life, I choose courage. I choose life, I choose courage to dance within the flames, to dance within the flames. Fire transform me, lead me to my passion. Fire transform me. I choose life, I choose courage, I choose life, I choose courage to dance within the flames, to dance within the flames. Fire transform me, lead me to my passion, fire transform me, lead me to my passion. I choose life, I choose courage, I choose life. Choose life, I choose courage to dance within 
apologies if that caused any distortion the, the sound of the drums at the end there it got very very loud but for all those fires rising all those fires of the celebration of Beltane out on the land that fire rising of the sun energy as we move into summer and all of those fires arising and awakening within us our passions and creativities and our inspiration <sighs> and that energy within us as we move into the year as we move into this celebration let's honour all of that that we've called to and honoured with the celebration of Beltane the spirit of the season and it's honour all of those energies that have weaved their magic in and throughout everything that we've held in this space this evening that we've shared in this space this evening and connected in with this space this evening and may those fires continue to rise and carry us into the days and weeks and months as we move into summer. Choosing life. Choosing courage. And so for all that we say thank you, thank you, thank you. Blessed be. And thanks everybody. All of you. All of the faces on the Zoom screen. And all of the... People who have joined on the Facebook Live and people who watch this afterwards on Facebook and I'll get this one up onto YouTube as well. So for those who find this on YouTube afterwards as well, wishing you all the very best for Beltane. Yeah, wishing you all the very, very best for the season as we move into summer. And look forward to seeing you on the coming Journey in Circles, Drumming Circles. Um, I'll get back to those of you in the comments who have uh, asked for more details of the Spirit of the Drum course. And hopefully see many of you there. But yes, thanks everybody for joining us on the Drumming Circle this evening. Cheerio all.